Hello everybody, welcome to your weather forecast. I'm Mr. G, this is Elite Weather, and we're gonna be having your weather forecast for your rest of their evening hours on Monday and into the day on Wednesday. So let's jump into that forecast and start off with our current satellite imagery, where we're only really seeing uh, this storm system across portions of Minnesota as our low pressure is down here across the, the Rockies, but we're seeing moisture being pulled up out ahead of it. So we got a little bit of a trough here across Minnesota and Wisconsin that's providing some light snow and some rain showers across this region. This this evening there's our older storm pulling off the east coast there and another storm coming in across the Pacific Northwest that's going to be bringing snow to the Cascades and eventually down to the Sierras but we're seeing rain along the coast and in the lower valleys and some of that rain could be heavy we're going to be seeing about one to two inches of rain across the Pacific Northwest into the evening hours tonight and into the morning tomorrow now as we take a look at our current Doppler radar there is that rain and snow across Minnesota and into Wisconsin. You see that snow to the north, but to the south of I-94, we're seeing that rainfall. So a bit of a mixed bag of precipitation. Some freezing rain might be possible right in this region here where that snow borders that rainfall. So we could be seeing some sleet and freezing rain across portions of the upper Mississippi River Valley into the evening hours tonight. So again, that's gonna be very brief and it's gonna end in the next couple of hours head on off to the east. Now our current temperatures, we're seeing those warmer temperatures down here across the southern plains, 70s across Texas, and we're seeing those 60s and lower 70s into the southeast as well. But if we look at the, the northeast out here, we're seeing those temperatures in the 20s and 30s inland, but along the coast, we're seeing those mid 40s in the, for those temperatures across the northeast. And then across the upper Midwest and in the Great Lakes, we're seeing those temperatures in the upper 20s to middle 30s and then over the Rockies we're seeing those temperatures in the 30s to lower 40s in some of those valleys and passes out there and along the west coast those 60s down in Southern California, but if you go all the way up to the Pacific Northwest, temperatures in the upper 40s, all right. So nice weather for our temperatures is concerned for this time of the year. Now our temperature change, now if you take a look at the nation's midsection here, we see those greens. That means that the temperature is warmer today than it was at this time yesterday. So we're seeing those temperatures a few degrees, up to seven degrees, maybe even 22, look at this, 12 degrees up there in embarrassed Minnesota so it's a little bit warmer across portions of the Midwest this evening but a little bit cooler here across the Great Lakes because we do have the that backside of that storm system that's departing off of the northeast there so we're seeing that cold air coming down out of Canada but that's going to soon be replaced by this warm air coming at you from the west so as you move into your day tomorrow we're going to be seeing uh, those greens move towards the Great Lakes and into the northeast and we got this extra this other area here that's another storm system that's moving across the southern plain the southern Rockies there through Arizona and New Mexico and Colorado so this storm system is going to be moving out into the plains tomorrow and that's going to start the beginnings of those thunderstorms that we're going to be seeing down across the southern plains and along the Gulf Coast as we get to the middle part of the week. Now let's take a look at our wind chill. So those wind chills aren't too bad, pretty uniform with those temperatures, but the wind chills are a little bit cooler here across the northeast and into portions of the Great Lakes because we do see the uh, those temperatures here along the cities here we see that the actual temperatures are in the mid 40s right now but you see those wind chills in the 30s so there's a little bit of a wind chill across the the northeast there along the i-95 corridor so be you know bundle up and take care with that and if we take a look at our, our dew point, this is, what, this is important to show you right here. And there's a reason why I want to show you this, because we're going to see thunderstorms later in the week down across this region and along the Gulf Coast. And you want to see those dew points rise as it's, that is more moisture down at the surface. And we're seeing up some dew points here in the 60s, and that can support severe thunderstorms with dew points that high. So a little soupy down along the Gulf Coast as we head into the middle part of the week 
And as we take a look at those wind speeds, it's a little breezy out there across much of the Midwest and across the Rockies as well. We're seeing in breezy conditions because we have those storm systems at play and a large pressure gradient across the middle and the western half of the nation. So we're going to see a little bit breezy conditions, a lot of winds in the 20 to 30 miles per hour range there. So bundled up as that can increase those wind chills as well and make things a little bit blustery and blow around around some high profile vehicles if you're out on some of those interstates going through the mountains. So please uh, take care with that. All right, so as we take a look at your Monday, your rest of your evening hours, we got this storm system here across the Midwest there in the Central Plains. That's going to be um, responsible for this rain and snow across Minnesota and Wisconsin this evening as that is starting to pull together. We're going to see a nice deformation band set up with this storm system. And as we take a look at what we're going to be seeing as far as temperatures across the eastern U.S., we're going to be seeing those temperatures in the 60s across the southeast and the 70s down there in Florida and along the immediate Gulf Coast. But if you head on up toward the northeast, 40s for the big cities, 30s of the interior and in the Great Lakes as well for your Monday, even though we've already seen those temperatures. And again, here's those temperatures as we see those evening hours. We're going to be seeing those temperatures in the 60s. Look at those 70s down there in Texas. Very nice for you folks down there. And we're seeing those 60s through the Midwest, 40s through the Northern Plains as well as temperatures start to warm a little bit out ahead of this advancing storm system. Now, up next is going to be our storm system moving out there through the plains through this evening hours. And there's our temperatures out on the west coast. We're looking at those 60s in California, 50s in the Pacific Northwest, 40s up there in northern Washington there in Seattle. And we're seeing those 30s and 40s through the Rockies. And we're seeing those 60s down across the desert southwest. Look at the 72 in Los Angeles. So very nice weather across the southwest. Now for your Tuesday, our storm system here is moving across down into the southern plains. We're starting to see some of that moisture come up off the Gulf. We're seeing those thunderstorms. We're going to be seeing some of those storms turn severe, especially here in Oklahoma and into portions of Arkansas, southern Missouri, east Texas, and over western Louisiana. We can see the potential for severe thunderstorms. Some showers and possible storms can extend into portions of Ohio and into Pennsylvania. As well and we're going to start to see snow as our deformation band takes place over upstate New York and into Ontario Canada all right now let's take a look at the western United States for your Tuesday and we have those temperatures out there look at those 30s through the southern Rockies Aspen Colorado it's looking at a temperature of 31 degrees tomorrow but we're going to be seeing that nice uh, 60 out there and like 50 out there for Las Vegas and we're going to be seeing those temperatures in the 60s down around southern L LA as well but as we head up the Pacific Northwest we're going to be seeing that rain as we got another storm storm system set to make landfall across the Pacific Northwest with more rain in Oregon, Port Portland, and Seattle and snow for the Cascade Mountain Range and that's going to eventually bring some snow to the Sierra Nevadas as that storm is going to drop down the California coastline. Now as we take a look at your Tuesday of uh, this storm system moving to the west to the Midwest we're going to see our second storm system here moving to the Great Lakes. There is our cold front that's going to be sweeping in those showers and thunderstorms to the east and we're going to be seeing our snow band on the back side of this area of low pressure and the colder temperatures coming down out of the north there so uh, sloppy weather across the southeast tomorrow and along the Gulf Coast once again as we're going to be dealing with those thunderstorms more thunderstorms on your Tuesday evening again we're going to be seeing that potential for some very heavy rainfall that can lead to some flash flooding and some uh, water spots along the Gulf Coast, so please be mindful of that. And that is your weather forecast for your uh, Tuesday and, and Wednesday coming up. My name is Mr. G with your weather forecast. Thanks for watching. Leave your likes, comments. Feel free to subscribe on YouTube. Follow me on TikTok. I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye bye.